Howdy, everyone. I'm back to the, uh, the double liar. <laughs> the double liar. What the hell am I talking about? I meant to say double. Why? Fuck! Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. Come on. Let's do this. And make the. Fuck! <laughs> Can we do it? I don't know. Let's. Oh! 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 oh. <gasps> we did it! Okay. Fucking A. It only took me like three tries. I don't know. Maybe I'll put in the other video footage. Because I yelled and it was funny. So. Over. No! Oh! Buzz, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god, man. Don't scare me like that. No time to lose. Now you can get a one up if you go down that zip line, but we don't want to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a fucking heart attack here. Oh my god. Oh, oh, Buzz, dude. Do you know how long it takes to get up here after every time Buzz falls down? I've seriously spent like half a fucking hour just trying to get to this this part. It's quite frustrating, as you can see. Okay, so that jumps over. And up in here, we have the clown boss. Oh, my eye is itching, man. Oh, eye, stop itching. I gotta scratch my eye. Oh, my God. Defeat the clown top of boss. Just shoot him. Just touch him real quick and go. Where'd he go? Holy crit. Oh, that's disturbing. He, like, he, like, laughs if he hits you. Oh. That's disturbing. At least he only kind of goes around you. Dude! Get off my dick, man. Holy crap. Come. I will shoot you, top man. Thank you. Man, that guy actually did a number on me. Wasn't expecting that fight to go so badly. But we've got two Pizza Planet tokens, or one of the Pizza Planet token. So we've only got one left, and it's collecting all of these ducks that we, uh, that we still have to do. Dude, Buzz, what the fuck are you doing, man? I'm trying to to get the battery, and you're jumping on shit. <laughs> fuck it. The nice thing about this game is that if you die, which I don't think I actually have died yet. Suicide! Oh! But if you do die, um, you don't, like, lose any progress or anything. You just lose a life, and then Buzz kind of, like, falls down and, like, comes back comes back to life where he was when he died. It's kind of... I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's, it's very convenient. I'll give it that. So, we just have three more... Pass! Pass! Fucking Rex is so annoying, man. So we just have three more ducks to collect, and then we're done. But unfortunately, we've got to get back across this thing. Got to get to the other side. Oh, man. That guy almost hit me with a freaking... Super mega bomb there. That would have been bad. All right, come on, box. Making these jumps can actually be surprisingly difficult. The ones that are along hey, uh, this thing. I want to get rid of that guy before he like fucks me over. Cause that would just be bad. Hey, uh, All right, box. You want to show up? No, I can't make that jump. God hey, damn uh, it! I can do this though. This will work. Yeah, one of the ducks is hidden all the way back there. Actually, I almost didn't make that jump either. So, all right. That's three ducks down, two to go, and then we're almost out of this hell hole, which is very nice. Oh my god, I didn't even... What? How long has that been here? That's... Honestly, I didn't know about that. That actually helps a lot, <laughs> thinking about it. Uh, all things considered, that does help quite a bit. So... The other two are on the other side of the, uh, the gullies, I guess you could say. They're in the place where we, uh, find Mr. Potato Head, or not Mr. Potato Head, Ham, with the, uh, the coins, and that place with the balloons. Well, you'll see where they are, because that's where we're headed, headed right now. Unfortunately, the Mama Duck is easy to locate, so I'm just like, shh, shh, just get it over with. Just get it, get out of the way, so... Yeah, now, compared to all that other stuff, this zipline is like... Well, dude, would you get on the freaking thing? Man, that's crazy. I have never struggled to get on that zipline so much in my life. But I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to be very glad when this level is over. Because it's probably... 
the most frustrating level to, like, navigate in the game. You think it would be, like, one of the last levels, but it's actually not. Like, level 13 is actually kind of tedious. Ugh, I, be I got, like, the, my laser goes off. the hiccup burps today. Oh, what the fuck was that? That was just pathetic. That's what that was. It was bad. But yeah, we're about to go... Actually, after this, we're going to go into one of my favorite levels in the game. I guess. Well, not that I can really say I have a favorite levels in this game, but... We're going to go to Al's penthouse after this. Which is a pretty cool place. You know, Al seems like a pretty cool guy. Creepy toy collector dude. Alright, so that's duck number four. Unfortunately, duck number five is right over here. You know, fifth duck. Fifth fuck. So, <laughs> all these early game enemies. The enemies do kind of change when you, like, get later in the game. There's still not very many, but they do add a few. We're about to see some new enemies where we're going to, but... Wait, what? Huh? I never even knew that existed! What? Man, I, you learn new things about Buzz Lightyear to the rescue every time you play. And that's what makes it the best game ever! So, yeah. Alright, charge up the spin attack. Tornado Buzz, go! Oh, don't, dude, don't tase me, bro. Okay, thank you. Thank you! Buzz, over here! These guys just all say the stupidest stuff. It's great. It's so annoying how everybody in this game is always trying to get your attention. Except for, like, the voiceless characters where you just, like, collect five of their children or whatever. Yeah, just get rid of that plane. Just go away, plane. Nobody likes you. Nobody wants to ride the plane. The plane and the pizza planet and the peas and the letter P and the... Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. And beyond! and move on in the game to level 11, I guess it is. Finally have this level complete. That makes, like, what, the first six levels? Plus eight and ten, and I mean nine, too, but... I mean, there's really only ten levels, since, like, five of them are boss fights and nothing else, and I'm totally going the wrong way in a menu world. Al's penthouse. We're making it happen. Yee-haw! I don't, uh... Gosh, I don't know how long this level is going to take. We're probably not going to get it all the way done in this episode, but... We can definitely get started, though. Um, I really like the music in this place, too. I think it's just kind of cool. So, howdy, Buzz. If you can bring me five horseshoes before you run out of time, I'll give you a Pizza Planet token. Now, I haven't practiced this, but there's, like, a path that'll help you out in doing this. Like, there's definitely an order that you want to go through this. There's, there's horseshoe number three. Horseshoe number four is on the sofa. You know, I gotta watch out, because there's a cannon that's firing at you in this room. And snakes. Snakes on a plane. Alright, so that's it. That's one Pizza Planet token. We're done. We can move on. Also, I just want to point out how terrible... Like, that is an abomination right there. Like, even by the standards of PS1 graphics... That's pretty fucking bad. So, what should we do next? Because there's definitely some stuff that's uh, easier to do than others. I think the first thing we want to do, though, is uh, is this. <laughs> I like th those vultures, by the way. We're going to start seeing them in pretty much every level after this one. That vulture-type enemy that we just killed. And I love the way, I just want to say, I love the way it, like, goes... <laughs> Like, every time you shoot it, it's just, like, yells at you. We actually got two cannons firing us on, on us in this room. And that's kind of like the gimmick with this level. You have these cannons that are firing at you. And to get rid of them, what you have to do is, um, is activate a switch somewhere in the level. Oh god, this guy's gonna hit me. Well, I guess not, actually. Mr. Vulture, dude, get the fuck out of my way. That was some lag right there. Wow. It's funny, I don't remember this game lagging on me too much when I recorded it back in the, uh, the like, the first five parts or whatever. Alright. So that's... Oh, we're... we're do God damn it! That asshole knocked me all the way down. 
That must have been the cannonball that hit me there. But yeah, these cannons are just really annoying. It's like crazy to think that this guy just has cannons in his room as like a defense. They just fire on you and you alone. They don't fire on any of his shit or... Alright. Dude, coin, would you get collected? Holy shit. Vulture man, get out of my way. Vulture man. I'm surprised that's not like a Mega Man enemy. No, Vulture Man. Maybe it's just like all the cannons that are constantly firing on me and shit that's causing the game to slow down. I mean, who knows, right? But whatever, it's not like a huge deal or anything. Oh, Mr. Snakey Man. We started seeing the snakes in the last level, oddly enough, but... Huh, they're back here in full force, so... Yeah, and that guy's already respawned on us, too. That's not good. So that's the things that we're trying to collect in this level. They're called Little Critters. I'm not even exaggerating. This level is also kind of funny because it has the, um, the most abominable face in the entire game. Now this guy here is actually the boss. Kind of an interesting location for a boss. But all you gotta do is, uh, I just, just shoot him. And then, oh, he's kind of doing a number on me. You know what? I might die here, actually. Because he is shooting me pretty quickly, but... Whatever. You can just tank the hits, otherwise. Yeah, that's that's a death. But like I said, Buzz just kind of goes, Oh! And then gets knocked down. And this guy, you can actually just kind of cheat, like, just mash fire. And you'll deplete his health faster than he depletes yours, so... And it's fun. Wait until you see what the final level in this game is, because it's definitely not what you're expecting. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you know that Stinky Pete is the bad guy. But there's a couple funny things about um, about what happens in this game with, with bosses and the last boss fight, but we'll save that for when we get there. What is this, like, part 7? So, Alright, now I'm gonna do something, and I'm probably not gonna do this in this particular episode because it no takes time, time, but... Or maybe I will, and we'll just have a longer episode. I don't know. The thing is, is that recording PlayStation 1 games kind of... or, well, like, recording them isn't a problem, but rendering them is. Rendering PlayStation 1 games takes forever. Like, the, the very first episode, which was not a long episode, that took, like... that took my computer, like, an hour and 20 minutes to render that. And it took even longer to render some of the later episodes that got a little longer, so... But I am gonna push this box all the way in here. I mean, maybe... maybe we'll do it, I don't know. There's other stuff we can do first, like collect some of the other animals and... get that other mysterious token that, uh, you know, we haven't really talked about or anything yet. I mean, we came in here and we saw all sorts of stuff. Maybe we'll do ham and then... and then move on. Who knows? Actually, one thing we can do that's really cool is this right here. You can shoot the lock open and go into a secret passage. That actually leads you into the bathroom. You know, IN THE BATHROOM! That probably was not <laughs> anywhere near as good. And this is where Ham is, by the way, but we... I guess we aren't even really close to having the coins needed for Ham in this level yet. But I like this room quite a bit, and here's what you do. You stomp the switch right here. And that raises the water level. You know, just like in Jabu Jabu's belly. Raising the water level. And you get these sponges that are floating in the water. And then you just gotta kinda like, keep bringing the water level up to the switch. And hopping across the sponges. To get to where you want. And you just flood this guy's bathroom. And if you really think about what's happening, this doesn't make a lot of sense. Because we came in through like a big hole. Like a big open vent. So it's like, well, how is this water staying? No stay like, look at this. Look at this shit right there. Look at that fucking open... Open door that the water is just not going through. I mean, like, so much for taking the shape of its container, right? Oh. Balls. That sucks. Because now I'm pretty sure that we have to drain... Yeah, we have to drain the water. And Ham is just down here, you know? He don't have to worry about drowning or anything like that. Because he's made of plastic, so... Stop the switch again. I guess we can give it another go. Grab that coin while we're at it. Since we can always just 
come back up here. Oh, well, can we? Can we please make this jump onto the sponge? Yeah, I guess we can. Serves you, right? Now, I don't know what I did wrong with that other one, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to jump right at, like, the top... the top of the sponge's height. You know, because they're bobbing up and down. Maybe... Buzz! What the fuck, Buzz? Why aren't you... Why you no grab onto the ledge, man? What's your problem? Holy crap. Well, train the water. Let's try it again. Raise the water. Try it again. I didn't have problems with this last time I played the game. I don't, just, I don't know what my deal is. What the dealio is. Buzz, over here! I guess the annoying thing about this room is that you have to, like... You keep having to listen to fucking ham, just like... Buzz, over here! Over here! Got coins, Buzz? Hey! I'm an annoying dipshit! Actually, you know what? Maybe you're supposed to jump up there. I can't remember, actually. Uh, no, that's definitely not what you're supposed to do, but at least we, uh... Can we... Ugh, I get- GOD DAMN IT! Oh my god! Alright, this is fucking atrocious. In the next episode, uh, we figure out what we're supposed to do. Bye. Thanks for watching. Buzz, over here!